Okay, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the cow. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor. It's going to say y'all by saying, Hallelujah. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Elohim of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. The Savior and Redeemer of Israel. Um, Torah Tanakh, Old Testament. The Book of Life. The Book of Remembrance. Ten toes down. And one love to all the chosen ones. All the targeted individuals. All the TIs. That's out there. I love you all. I truly and sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yeah, so I hope everyone is having a victorious day. I'm also having a victorious day. And turn the bell. Since I drop in, upload a video, you'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Turn the bell, turn the bell. Turn on that bell. And I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled. It says in a book of Psalms, Ye are gods. We are gods and goddesses. Let me get some water to clear my throat. I got to, I got to soothe out my throat. This gang stalking program used directed energy weapons to bother my speech. They be using directed energy weapons so I can't get my thoughts together right and to bother my speech. So I kind of get my words. So I kind of get my thoughts and words all right. It affects my speech. Okay, but I got Yahweh on my side. I got Yah on my side. With Yah in front of me, I don't care who is against me. With Yah being for me, I don't care who is against me. I don't care. Who stand against me? And so it says it. It says in the book of Psalms. Psalms 82. I think it's Psalms 82. Verse 6. Or something like that. But I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. From the King James Version. Yeah, but it says that we are gods. It says it. We are made in God's image. We was made... In Yahweh's image. So, 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 if we made in Yahweh's image, then we also is gods and goddesses. Men are gods and females are goddesses. And Yahweh. We need Yahweh to depend on because Yahweh is the ultimate strength. He's the all-powerful God, the all-knowing, all-seeing, omnipotent God. He's the omnipotent, all-knowing, all-powerful Elohim. Elohim means multiple powers, but because it means multiple powers it does not mean that there's two gods in a godhead there's only Yahweh Yah is alone there's not two gods in a godhead there's only one God there's only one Elohim and Yahweh Yah is the only Elohim He's by himself. He's alone. He's the only savior. There's no one beside him. There's no one with him. 
And so, it's a Yahweh has, like I say, Elohim means multiple powers. So, Yah has multiple powers. Yah is the all-powerful God, all-powerful Elohim, all-powerful Most High with multiple powers. He has many powers. Yes, yeah, so but Yahweh gave us we got powers in our own image because he's the big a God. He's the big Elohim. And we're the little gods and goddesses. We're the little gods. We're the little Elohims. So we're the little gods and goddesses. <laughs> yes, yeah, so but we're stuck in his human bodies. We're stuck in his human vessels. So right now, on earth, we're human beings. We're mortal. We're mortal men and mortal women. We're not immortal like the angels are. And because we are mortal beings, because we are mortal human beings, our powers are limited so so we can't perform and do all the great miracles and wondrous works that Yah and his angels do but Yah will give us our own strengths and powers in a human being way he gives us the ability to manifest and to, and to make miracles happen for ourselves because we are little gods we're gods also so he gave us the power to manifest and to make miracles happen for ourselves in a human form in the human being way so I'm going to read I'm going to read from Psalms 82 and this, yeah, Psalms 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of, and all of you are children of the Most High, Salakia. Let me read again. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Yes, it says it. It says it in verse 6. It says it in Psalm 82, in verse 6. It says that we are gods and we are children of the Most High. We're the sons and daughters of the Most High. Yah doesn't have just only one begotten son. Yah does not have only one son. Yah has many children. Yah has sons and daughters. And us, African American, us black descendants, us slaves, we're black Hebrew Israelites. And us black Hebrew Israelites, we are the children of the Most High. We are the Most High's sons and daughters. I read again. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. See? There it is. It says it in Psalm 32. Verse 6. It says it plain as day. It can't get no plainer and no more simple than that. It can't get no more plainer and no more simpler than that. Yes, like I say. Because we are also gods and made in the image 
of the Most High. We're made in the image of the Most High God of Israel. So because of that, like even us that's our targeted individuals, us T guys that's being gang stalked and us chosen ones, witchcraft is being done on us. We gotta just have we got a strong faith in Yahweh because we got to lean and depend on him for all our faith, strength, hope, and needs, and for a clear mind. We need Yahweh to give us good mental stability and keep us with a good clarity of mind. And keep us with a strong mind constitution. Yeah, so like I say, we just, because I know it's hard because witchcraft is being done on me all the time. Mainly by two evil family members of mine. I spoke about these two evil family members in previous videos. Yeah, so two evil family members are mainly performing witchcraft on me and his gang stalking program is also doing witchcraft for me because gang stalking is both is spiritual and physical gang stalker is not just physical a technology being used against you gang stalking is also spiritual the witchcraft of it that's the spiritual side. The witchcraft, that's the spiritual side of gang stalking. And so because of that, it's like a lot of times it drain my energy. They be hitting me with EMF, these directed energy weapons. They be using, they be doing, they be doing V2K on me. Boils the skull. They plant thoughts in my head. They plant thoughts in my head. That's not mine. Yeah, so I gotta fight this. I, I gotta fight the V2K, the EMF, these directed energy weapons, all the witchcraft. I gotta fight it because it be because it be they be doing mind control on me. They be trying to use mind manipulation on me, and they be draining my energy. They be draining my energy, making me feel sluggish, tired, and worn out. So a lot of times I feel like a lot of times I don't feel like getting out the bed, and I don't feel like going into work and doing nothing I gotta learn we got to control our minds us chosen ones and us TIs us targeted ones we got to learn how to control our mind against all these evil forces we got to, we got to control our mind against the evil ones and I think my my control is when you're feeling down, weak, tired, and no energy, and you feel defeated and getting depressed and have your anxiety and so stressed out, when those moods come on you, those feelings and thoughts come upon you, you got to say, I have all the power and strength in me. I just look inside myself and look up to Most High, Yah, and it gives me all the power and strength that I need. Whenever I get these, and I got to, and I got to stop procrastinating. That's the weakness of minds. I got to strengthen that weakness of minds. Stop procrastinating and get things done on time and faster. Be more sufficient with getting things done. So whether I'm in a, a bad mood, 
I'm getting depressed. I'm feeling down. I'm procrastinating. I feel a sluggish. Bad thoughts is in my head. Make it like I can't do nothing and I'm just down and feel like I can't go on anymore. And I feel like I can't do this anymore. I don't want to wake up and live in this matrix anymore. Starting from this moment and from here on out, whenever I get and feel like that, I'm always going to keep saying, I'm going to say to myself, I have all the power and strength in me. I just look inside myself and look up to the most high creator, Yah, and he gives me all the power and strength that I need. Say it three times because saying, saying something three times, it gives it more energy. It gives it more strength and it puts it out into the universe more. Saying things with a repetition, saying things with repeating and a repetition of three times it puts it out in the universe more better for you so it can manifest for you so I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it three times you can say it to yourself or say it out loud or say it both you can say it to yourself, say it out loud, or do both. Say it to yourself and say it out loud. It's up to you, but I'm going to say it to myself three times. Or if you want to say it one time, it's up to you. But say it, say it as many times as you think that you need it. Say it as many times as as you think that you need to say it to make it uh, more powerful say it more times if you think that saying it more times will make it more powerful and will give you more power and make you more powerful yeah but it says in Psalms 82 we are gods we are gods and goddesses so there is nothing wrong with calling yourself a god or goddess. Some people that is fanatics get too strict and call themselves overly righteous. They say that we are not supposed to call ourselves gods and goddesses. Some people think that is narcissistic and you're into new age movement you're with your warlock all because you call yourself a god and a goddess it's foolishness it's nonsense you are not narcissistic you're not thinking too much high you're not thinking too much high of yourself or thinking too much above of yourself you're not putting yourself above the true creator. You're not putting yourself above Yahweh. You're not putting yourself above Yah. You're not thinking too high of yourself. And you're not trying and you're not trying to push yourself too much above. You're not doing that. You're not doing none of that. Because, and you know what your warlock or because you say that you're a god or a goddess is in the Psalms. It's in Psalms 82, verse 6. It says that we are gods. We are gods and goddesses. We are children of the Most High Yah. Because it, uh, it also says down further, in verse 7 and 8 that we're going to die it says that we're going to fall and die like men of course because we're these human bodies while we're stuck and trapped in these human bodies of course we're going to fall by the sword 
and die. Because in these human bodies, in these human vessels, of course, we're going to fall and die. Of course. Of course, we're going to fall and die as humans because we're humans. So, we're going to fall and die as humans. As human beings. As being mortal. In these mortal bodies. Yeah, so that's all I got to say. Um, I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. I'll see y'all again in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day of being victorious. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day of being victorious. And again... One love to all the chosen ones, all the targeted individuals, all the TIs that's out there. I love you all. I truly and sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. Bye, chosen ones, bye, targeted individuals, bye, TIs. Bye, 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 bye. And like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn the bell since I drop in a little video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, turn the bell, turn the bell, turn that bell. And again, this is your girl, Mikkel. Mikkel, the awoke goddess. Because as it says in Psalms, we are gods and goddesses. So according to Psalms 82, verse 7, I'm a goddess. Men are gods and females are goddesses. I'm a female, so I'm a goddess. And I'm a child of the Most High. I'm a daughter of the Most High Yahweh. I'm one of the daughters of the Most High Yah. Just like you all is one of the sons or daughters of the Most High Yah. You are also children of the Most High Yahweh, and you are uh, and you all are the chosen ones. There's a chosen remnant and chosen elect. Is also gods and goddesses. Okay, this your girl, Mikhail the World Goddess. Sign out. I'm out until next time. I'll see you. And again. Y'all was righteous all the time, day and night, winter and summer. Y'all was holy. Y'all was fair. Y'all was just. Y'all was perfect. Let the name of Yahweh be magnified. Let Yah be magnified. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. And again, I'm Torah Tanakh Old Testament, the book of life, the book of remembrance ten toes down and I'm going to say stay strong stay positive keep your head up don't quit never give up stay the course to the end stay the course to the end keep raising God go all the way to the grave go all the way to the graveyard Yes, I'm going to say one love, whole love, full love, full love. <laughs> yeah, so and again and again, stay strong and stay motivated. And stay positive. I love you all. And again. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.